Oh, God. What's going on? I can't move. Is someone there? Who is that? No, who are you? What are you? Uh, okay. Hey there. Hi, I'm Winter for Random Stupidity, and welcome to Don't Open Your Eyes. There was a disclaimer at the beginning of this saying, this is a game that you have to read, so make sure your eyes are open. So I'm kind of like, hmm, banana. Anyways, all I know is that this is kind of like an ASMR, like monster. That's literally all I know. I got more uh, hate juice here. Let's get a go. All right, and we're back. I just want to say that I'm sure the people that made this game care about it. There's no doubt about that. My fucking God, hire some programmers. Because when in the recording software, we can't, like, hit anything but quit. So I'm going to hopefully hope that now everything is going to work. Yeah, the menu gets stuck on quit if you're recording the game. My eyelids have begun to fall heavy. I'm going to have this slightly like that. Hopefully everything's working now. I better go to sleep. Oh, yeah, probably. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. What the fuck are they doing over there? The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. I'm stupid. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Who sleeps with their door open like that? Quiet. And also, what game gets stuck on the quit option on the title screen? Too quiet. I don't know. I feel restless. My sight mirrors towards the hallway outside the door. Maybe don't have it open. <laughs> That's terrifying. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I'd know since I'd made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three. Eps. All. <laughs> I. I'm. I can't read. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the threat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But there's going to be a loud note. I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. I night monster man. There better not be any other prompts that end up getting stuck. I hope not. In my room. Jesus Christ. There's a bed in my room. A closet. There's a wardrobe close enough in my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. Oh. There's, there's the hallway. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Were, some, were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I'd do, I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Oh no. I need to wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> I have work tomorrow, I need to get the fuck up. I really do though, oh no. I should really try to sleep. I don't like this hallway.
I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I hate this. I, I, I really don't like this. What's that sound? Something's coming for you from the darkness. Are those footsteps? Probably. I hate this. This game is too quiet to just have sounds now. No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. The footsteps are just gonna just start sprinting. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. I hate this. And closer. And they're gone. Right? There's no way someone could be your famous fucking last words right there. There's no way someone could be here. Hello? Oh no. Skinhawk? Hey. Oh, I hate your voice. You're not corpse husband. Those bastards lied to me. Open your eyes. I'm good. Okay, I can shoot. We're good, everyone. We're good, everyone. Hallelujah. <laughs> A menu that works. <laughs> Do I open my eyes? No. no. I don't open my eyes. Some, some kind of majestic music. Some just monster right on me. Open your eyes. No. do my best to ignore the voice who okay theoretically who the hell will be able to just ignore this this is terrifying why won't you, you just look wait. at me no you open your eyes but you also just start to be the jerk <laughs> please close your eyes <laughs> this like, matters. You i'm looking at you now are you happy with all three eyes <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm sleeping, bitch. Where are you? Asks for help. Is it right to ignore them? If they're a stranger, then yeah. Is that how it is? Yes. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. What is your favorite color? I have never seen myself before. Damn. Probably is. I don't know the color of my skin. That doesn't matter. I don't know if I'm even here. Probably not. I'm probably high. That is why I need you to open your eyes. What is that going to do for you? So you can tell me how I look. Eh, well, I guess that's fair. But I'm also shy. Same. I'm fat. His voice is calming but still eerie because it's a monster. Like a faded dream. His voice is calming, but I don't want anything to do with it. I know you're not asleep. No, I am. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. I got big ass ears, bitch. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. They look so fragile. God, this majestic music. Please don't. I feel something caress. No, I don't like it. I feel something caress my ear. Put my fingers around them. I hate this. And tear them off. Oh! Please don't. If I do, will you scream? Probably. Will I hear your voice? Probably. It was a joke. Please get off of me. I'm joking. I'm sure you are. Don't be scared. I'm frightened. I'm shitting my pants. 
And you can put ASMR in your face. I'm literally gonna call this video horrifying ASMR. What's up, bitch? How do you think my eyes look? I don't know. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? I don't know. Answer me. I don't know! Oh, I get to know. <laughs> They look broken. They look empty. They look lost. By your voice, I'm gonna say they look lost. They look lost. Yeah. Oh. Oh, don't be sad, bro. You make the monster. I I love this actually. I, this is cool. <laughs> Terrifying, but cool. I am never sure of where I am. Damn. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly. Searching for something. You'll find it eventually, man, I'm sure. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. The thought terrifies me. The thought terrifies me that you're a monster on my bed while I'm trying to fucking sleep for work tomorrow. I got McDonald's to serve. It terrifies me so much. Same. Oh, wait, are we talking about McDonald's or sleep? So I always keep my eyes peeled. God, this music is majestic but not comforting at all. Even if there's nothing to see, that way nothing will slip away, no matter where it goes, and no matter where it hides. This is so bizarre. No matter how terrifying the world might be. It's pretty terrifying. No matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process. Oh, damn. <laughs> this monster may have worse depression than I do. <laughs> no matter what, I will never blink. That's not really healthy. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. I mean, same. Same, bro. I will forever be lost. What is that something that I'm searching for? I don't know, man. It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. What is it? Oh no! Is it something I can hold? Maybe! Is it a being of flesh and bones? My dick! Wait, 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 well, hold on a second. <laughs> is it nearby? No. What's up my ass? Is it you? No. Hey. Yes? Have you ever looked so fervently for something? Yeah. That you end up losing yourself in the process? <laughs> <laughs> That's called life, man. That's called trying to find a purpose in life. And spoiler alert, we'll never find one. Have you? No. I remain silent. These eyes. <laughs> I remain silent as I yacked my head off through this entire thing. <laughs> Are these my eyes? Are these my eyes? Uh, yeah! Oh, great! <laughs> Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Okay. Open your eyes. Man, what did I tell you about this? Man, I'm not okay with it. No. Hell no, I'm not. <laughs> no offense, monster man. So you won't look at me? No! Even though your eyes are so pretty. That's kind of gay. Just saying. I can't see them. Imagine them behind their veil of flesh. What? I I know what they are, but I hate the wording. The wording is what matters. And shiny like jewels. So so pretty. Thanks. <laughs> Breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. I hate this man. This man is fine. We still have time. The night is silent, yet this orchestra of terrifyingness is filled through the void of this empty house. Please don't breathe like that. Please, please stop. Please stop! Oh my god, please shut the fuck up, I hate this. This is a horror game because it's making me highly uncomfortable. See, you're lucky you don't get to hear what the hell I'm hearing right now. 
Why didn't I close my goddamn door? I feel like none of this wouldn't happen if my door was shut. Do you know what a door is? A boundary. Of course you know. You have one. Right there. At the verge of your little world. Yeah. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Barrier! Then why are you here? Why did I leave my door open? The bad can be anything. A bad smell. Oh, I shit in my pants. Sometimes. Me. Oh, that's always what I want to hear. I can't open doors. Why did I leave my door open? This is my fault now. How can you not? I find them tricky. Should I push or pull? Should I turn the knob left or right? Should I try to take it off its inches? Uh, I'd appreciate that not being what you try to do. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? I mean, that's what flush try to do. Ugh, gross. Only what happens, happens when it opens? Consent. If I say get the fuck out, you get the fuck out. Do I close it behind me? This do I keep thing it open? This guy's having an existential crisis. It was first by like, I don't know if I'm ugly or not. Hell, this door, man, freak the fuck out! But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Yeah. But then, how do I get out? Jump out the window. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? I don't know, man. So many options. Why are you here? <laughs> Yeah! Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. So this is sleep paralysis. I stare at it for a long time. Imagine, no. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do if you're just sleeping, and then someone just starts venting about their life story? Like, um, they're, not, they're not there to hurt you. They're no, just, they're not at all. They're not there to hurt you. They're not there to steal anything. They just be like, I really need someone to talk to, man. <laughs> like, what are you? I'm not here to be cause any harm. Just let me talk to you, man. I feel bad. I kind of feel bad for him. I kind of feel bad. I'm not gonna lie. The second you start threatening me again, I will not feel bad anymore, though. And think of my excuses. A Tommy gun. A Tommy gun. Because that's so. About closed doors is the idea they exist. Damn, that's that's some heavy shit. To keep me out. Yeah. It fills me with the need to go in. Curiosity. So I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. Let me in! Let me in! Well, you'd be fine because your door isn't fully closed. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. You dirty bitch. <laughs> but sometimes, just imagine, sometimes. Imagine you finally open your eyes. She just turned you to the devil. She just James Charles. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. <laughs> An urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. So I Who noticed me? Well, this is all my fault, because my dumbass didn't close the door. For someone to be at the other end. Awake. 
<laughs> you just find someone that it that's not awake, but the door's open. Well, fuck. <laughs> Almost. As if expecting me, but you won't look at me, even though you had your door open for visitors. That's not why it was open. It's hot, all right. <laughs> Summer time. Why is that? It's hot. <laughs> Yes, my pants are covered in piss. Do I scare you? Yes, and shit. No, that can't be it. It is, though. That's my sleep paralysis demon. It's just Monk. <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh, God. Hey, oh, my so God. Hope you guys enjoyed that segment at the beginning, then. Uh, we have been chatting for so long. Are you gonna shut the fuck up soon? You haven't chased me out. I don't know if that's an option in the game, man. That means you welcome me. It doesn't mean that at all. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Please don't touch me. Something moves over my bed sheets. Oh. You would reciprocate and grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. <laughs> oh god! I'm sure your hands are warm. They're sweaty, fucking mom spaghetti. So very warm. <laughs> because people are always warm. It's kind of gross. Hey. What's up? How do my hands look? Uh. I hate your wording, Monster Man! Answer me. You have... You have tired, deceitful, incomplete. They look incomplete. They look... incomplete. Ugh! Ugh! Hate your hands! That may be so. I hate your hands! Hate your hands. I have left people behind. People who are my chat companions. Just like you are now. So what the hell's gonna happen to me? So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. I have no penis. Things such as skin. Ew. Or flesh. Gross. Or bones. Disgusting. out of here. I already had my scooter paralysis experience. Because I am careless and overly curious. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Like the crust of a tree or the surface of a frozen lake. But sometimes I find something else. Like a penis. Gay. <laughs> like a building engulfed in a raging fire. Oh! Not what I thought you were gonna say. I think of the screams in the distance, or the suffering and death and charred skin. Fun! And wonder, how does that feel? Painful! So I put my hands to the fire. <clears throat> oh. I'm not a masochist. For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates, and the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. Gross. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible, but intoxicating feeling. And Ugh. I seek such extreme sensations. He's This monster is hella in The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. Oh, no. Other times, the of His beast. dick is a machete. Most times, however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. Don't you hate when that happens? 
Do you mind? <laughs> and I will leave my hands there as I traverse along it. Leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. This monster needs to go to a fucking therapist. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. Do you want to play a game? The fire and the blades are friends. You're suicidal, man. They have granted me times of great fun. Oh. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. Oh. But there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. A dick? They're always painful. Oh. I'd rather they weren't. And why are you here? Hey. What's up? Yes. Only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. In a way. Have you? I remain silent. These hands. I think about the billions of orphanages I burned down. <laughs> what? Are these my hands? Sure! A good answer. Okay, I'm just gonna pick yes then. That seems like that's a good choice. <laughs> Boundaries, man! Psh. No. I'm never going to open so them. So you won't look at me? No! Even though my hands could be the same as yours. I don't. <laughs> Open my eyes. I can't see you. I'm blind. <laughs> think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. I don't think I'm missing parts of my hands. No, you don't know. I can feel it in my skin. I got this fan. Smooth groove. Oh. It's about my heart. Can you hear it? Yes. You've been my skin is Tr pulsating. Get the fuck out of my house. Go <laughs> see a doctor. It has been long since this happened. The feeling is horniness. <laughs> It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I hate this. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. You look like you better get the fuck out of my house. But it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy, since I could show myself. To everyone at once. I am Jesus Christ. Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Do you want to play Fortnite? <laughs> Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But. Why? It might not be the answer what? I wish for. I know what you've done. Since I don't want to be judged. I can relate to that. I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. I wonder, but everyone calls me fat. It scares me. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me. Can I help you, Michael? Sorry, monster man. I got my own demons to deal with in real life. I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. This is an interesting game. I'm gonna give it that for sure. But you might be different. I don't think I am. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. <laughs> this is a speech he gave all the other people he fucking murdered. <laughs> I'm no different. <laughs> This man is gonna kill that me. Way you can help me. No. And we can both be fulfilled. I just want your skin, man. Come on. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel horny. Please don't say horny. Oh god, he's pulsating feel. again. Please don't say horny. Something. 
please don't say horny. I cannot describe it. I'm expecting. <laughs> he just turns into a troll face! God, that'd be even more scary. I am not good with words. <laughs> oh, God. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. Is that why you're speaking to me? They were not good at it either. <laughs> Damn. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. I would imagine so. Yet, they did. Well, good for them. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. But you don't even know what you look like. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. <laughs> Someone finally tells him what he looks like, but it hardcore judges him. Oh my god, you're ugly as fuck. <laughs> god, that'd be so mean. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Popularity. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Yeah. But I will. Soon. He's gonna kill me. Once you open your eyes. Not happening. Oh god, he's pulsating again. Uh, there it is again. Ugh. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. I'm so uncomfortable. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. I'm so uncomfortable. And you inspect every crevice of mine. I want nothing to do with you. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Get the fuck out of my house. This is a level of gay even I'm uncomfortable with. To let me hear what I am, <laughs> and to maybe even give me a name. Your name is gonna be dead if I fucking see it. Uh, stop pulsating. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. What does my face look like? Horny. <laughs> hey. What? What does my expression? Please let horny be one of the options. <laughs> when that fill of uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? Answer me. A cheerful smile, a surprised grimace. It, it's an emotionless stare. I'm actually gonna go with an emotionless stare because you don't really know how to feel. An emotionless stare. Sure. Oh. Oh. Eyes just turned. He's got a stitched up mouth. That may be so. Expressions are difficult. I was really hoping it would turn into a troll face. They require one's face to get. I gotta find a picture of this and then just edit the troll face onto him for the thumbnail. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. Including my penis. <laughs> From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel. There's gotta be like hella different endings to this game with the amount of choices. I'm somehow just picking the worst one. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. Okay. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. Meanwhile, I sneak into people's houses and make them uncomfortable. A person becomes someone different with each passing second.
Damn. Born and die. I heard you the first time. A person's existence is so fleeting. Well then, all right. And yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. Damn. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. I could kill you and I wouldn't even think twice. Save for a minuscule number, they are all the same. Blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Oh damn. Perhaps if someone else had left what I had. They would see meaning. They would treasure it. Why is the music gone? But I cannot. This is gonna be a jump scare in this quiet game. Oh, the music's back. Okay. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. That's depressing. And by extension, in what I am. I want for someone to tell me how I look. I, I kind of feel bad for him, in a way. Yet. Still, get I the hell out of my house, but I kind of feel bad for him. No one but me would care. So why should I care? Yeah, I mean, fair enough, I guess. But that doesn't mean I have never felt. I feel things. Joy. Sorrow. Fear. I am always feeling, and right now, and right now I'm horny. <laughs> oh god, he's pulsating again. I am feeling strongly. Oh no. It's here, in my pulsating skin. Ugh. You say my expression is emotionless, that it shows nothing, and if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something. I don't like this. Because what I'm feeling. It's not nothing. Ugh, I didn't like your tone there, dude. Hey. What? Have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath? Yeah. Honestly. Have you? I remain silent. This expression. Is this. My expression. I see. You didn't say good answer that time. I didn't like that. Thank you. Oh, you have what? truly helped me tonight. Okay. These are my eyes. These are my hands. Okay. And this is my expression. I kind of feel bad. Why do I feel bad? I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel with you. Okay. One born out of honest gratitude. But there is one step left. I need your skin, bro. You need to make sure of the truth. He's gonna ask me again. You're crossing boundaries. It's the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, sorry, bro. I see. I understand. No, it's fine. God, I kind of feel bad. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before. God, am I getting the... the, the <laughs> I feel bad. So I have no right to ask for anything else. God, why do I kind of relate to this in a way? Oh, God, it's me. The monster is me. No. Wait, what? That is a lie. Oh, fuck. Ever since I stepped into this room. Oh, no. You have refused to engage with me. Oh, fuck. Not even once. Not even once, 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 not even once. Did you open your eyes? Not even once. Did you look at my face? Oh no. You stayed there, acting 
as if you were asleep. Oh god. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. Oh no. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. That's sad. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. You too. Look for what's not there. Oh. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too are a liar. Oh. The type that shows one thing and feels another. Oh. But you made a mistake. Oh no. I know you're lying because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. Oh no. They aren't mine, maybe. They are yours, but I do not care. Oh. Not anymore. Open your eyes. Oh, well. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. Oh, fuck. So now, you will open your eyes. No. And see me for what I truly am. Oh, God. You said so. Remember? No. That in this room, you know how everything looks. Oh, no. It was those words that brought me here. If I had just keep my fucking door closed. So you have to. No. You have to do right by that which you claimed. No. It is time. No. Open your eyes. No. Never. Open your eyes. Oh god, he's freaking the fuck out. No. You had your chance. Oh no. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Uh, excuse me? Uh. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. Uh. I hear something shatter. Uh, 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 uh I'm dead. Uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. I want to answer. They grabbed under my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is. Uh, oh. Christ. I closed my eyes. That won't do. Christ. Open them. Ugh. Open them now. He's just killing me. Ugh. Open, open, open. Ugh. Open, open, open. Yeah. Open, open, open. Yeah. I'm just dead. Oh no. It seems. see anymore right you can't talk anymore right you can't think anymore right then this is farewell thank you for trying friend even though you were a liar <laughs> damn I leave this piece of myself here with you I must go I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. Why? I 
I am just dead now. There's something in my hand. It's what I left behind. What is it? it feels important. It's a dick. Just rips off his dick. Oh god! That can no longer open my eyes. Maybe I should have opened them. I'm starting to think maybe I should have. Oh wow! David, Dave, to voice him. Fucking well done, man. Christ, you are terrifying. Well. There you have it. There's absolutely multiple endings to this game. Theoretically, if this video does well, I'll consider doing a part two because this is an extremely interesting game. But... For now, I'm going to leave it here. I'm just straight up fucking dead. Maybe one day... In the future, I'll do like a live stream and actually get all the endings. I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know. Live stream is really Yeah, it is. <laughs> but either way, I guess thank you guys for watching. I should, maybe I should. Maybe I should have opened my eyes. Um, but yeah, this has been Don't Open Your Eyes. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed the, the segment at the beginning. It, we had no purpose to make it, but I'm glad we did. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I love this thing.